Peggy Sistine. Hi everyone and welcome to Indie World, a sneak peek at some exciting indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. I'm John Vignocchi. And I'm Sam Robertson. And that was the world premiere of Blue Fire from Graffiti Games and Argentina-based Roby Studios. Embark on a journey through a long forgotten land filled with deadly adversaries and collectibles aplenty and face 3D platforming challenges in a strange place called the Void. A dark world awaits when Blue Fire launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive this summer. Ciao a tutti, sono Fabio Caponiar, director di Napsteam, un piccolo team di solo due persone. E sono davvero felice di potervi parlare di Baldo. Da fan dei grandi action adventure RPG e degli iconici anime giapponesi abbiamo sempre sognato di fare qualcosa che unisse le due cose. Volevamo un gioco che fosse un viaggio in un mondo magico, ricco di personaggi fantastici, di dungeon complessi da affrontare, enigmi da risolvere, un viaggio che noi stessi avremmo voluto affrontare. Quindi speriamo davvero che Baldo vi possa appassionare e toccare il cuore come ha fatto con noi. I really dig this art style. It reminds me of some of my favorite classic anime films. Yeah, totally. And on top of that, it's got a rich cast of characters, incredible destinations, and an epic storyline full of intriguing secrets. Exploring this action-adventure RPG's open world, solving its puzzles, and getting through all those dungeons is going to take some serious time, folks. So be sure to set some aside when Baldo releases first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive this summer. This is Shelmiston, a small but remarkable island in the North Atlantic with a long, strange history. Oh, um, I'm Morris Lupton. I've lived here all my life. I've been curating the stories of this unique place for years and... Ah, here it is, my museum. But lately, well, it seems like I can do, um, new things. And, well, it's not a big deal, but I should mention at this point, I am dead. So, this may be my inner goth talking, but I'm dying to explore the afterlife. And I'm dying to try out those ghostly powers, Sam. X-ray vision, sign me up. Although, from what I hear, Shelmerston may not be long for this world. But unraveling the tiny island's ancient mysteries is going to be what saves it. You know, UK-based developer Hollow Ponds and Richard Hogg, these guys know their way around charming puzzles. And I can't wait to solve them when I Am Dead launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed exclusive later this year. Hi everyone, my name is Heather Bellabo, and I'm the Director of Production at TikTok Games. Hi there, I'm Melissa, I'm one of the producers and the marketing lead. We're here today to introduce you to our newest title, Bark. 
Bark is a 2D side-scrolling co-op space shooter where you play as one of four ferocious animal astronauts trying to liberate the Earth from crazy robots. This is a family-focused game that builds a cooperative spirit while still encouraging competition. We hope you enjoy playing this title as much as we enjoyed making it. In this whimsical side-scrolling shooter from California's TikTok Games, team up with your critter companions to defeat enemies, collect coins, upgrade ships, and take out the bad guys. Each animal has a distinct playstyle, and you can combine abilities to mix up the fun. With Easy Couch Co-op, this adorable party game is a meowvelous fit for family game night. Bark blasts off first as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch in late 2020. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Wilson, creator of Cyanide and Happiness, and joining us today is a hideous mutant freak. Hi Chris, thanks for having me. Now freak, everybody's wondering, what happened to your face? Glad you asked. I, like many of my loved ones, was minding my own business when the apocalypse happened, destroying nearly everything and leaving us all horribly mutated. Well now, that's a heck of a way to start the day. I'll tell you what, nothing wakes you up like discovering you can now breathe through your tear ducts. Ugh. Gosh, well, now that you're so hard to look at, where can the audience see what you've been up to? Or you can find me in the brand new adventure game, Freak Apocalypse, where you can explore, solve puzzles, and try to survive in what's left of our terrible world. And be sure to keep an eye out for me. I'm the one that's not dead. <laughs> that's great. I'll definitely check it out. Now don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. No, you won't. <laughs> Chris? Chris? While we're waiting for Chris, you guys get ready for a world full of weirdness when Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse launches first as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this summer. Hola a todos, somos Chibi, un estudio español situado en Valencia. Os presentamos nuestro nuevo videojuego. Summer in Mara es una aventura tropical que cuenta la historia de Koa, una niña que deja su hogar para descubrir los secretos del océano. Hemos creado una aventura sobre el crecimiento y sobre cuidar la naturaleza. En Chivig hacemos juegos de granjas en lugares insólitos. En Summer in Mara tendrás tu propia isla que cuidar y además un barco con el que explorar el océano. Con más de 30 islas que descubrir y una ventana de personajes a los que ayudar, tendrás mucho que hacer. Relájate, disfruta y nos vemos en Mara. It might be tempting to just kick back and catch some rays when you hit the beach in Summer in Mara. But the ocean calls you to fulfill your destiny, and mysteries await. Yeah, like, what's up with that gigantic rock thing right there on your island? Make friends, farm, explore, and craft, as Koa's adventure unfolds in a vibrant world with weather events and a day-night cycle. And contrary to its name, you're not going to have to wait until summer to play this game. Because Summer in Mara's first port of call is Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive this spring. Which means players on Nintendo Switch will be the first to get these timed exclusive free in-game clothes and backpack. Hi, my name is Baltazar Auger from Nimble Giant, a game development studio in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Quantum League is a first-person shooter with a unique time loop mechanic that allows you to team up with your future and past selves in one versus one and two versus two online battles. In this game, causality isn't fixed, and you can change the outcome of a round each time it rewinds. It's like your favorite time travel movie mixed with a highly competitive FPS. We sincerely hope you'll enjoy Quantum League. This online FPS is a bit of a brain bender, but once you wrap your head around the nifty time paradox mechanic, the possibilities are positively mind-boggling. So check this out. In each consecutive round of a match, you're joined by clones. These are echoes of your past self, and they mimic your previous movements through the arena. Plan your actions each round strategically, and you and your clones can faint opponents into some very dangerous situations. Quantum League Time Warps onto Nintendo Switch in late 2020. Konnichiwa, White Arrows no Suiri desu. Nihon no Osaka de sekai jiu no minasan ni mukete game o kaihatsu teimasu. 本日はこの場を借りて現在開発中のザ・グッドライフが任天堂スイッチでも発売されることを正式に発表させていただきますザ・グッドライフはイギリスの田舎町を舞台にした借金返済 RPGです 
世界一幸福な町と言われるレイニーウッズでもこの町にはとんでもない秘密が隠されていました夜になると人々は犬や猫に変身してしまうんです他にはない不思議で奇妙なゲームをお届けします2020年発売期待してお待ちください Hope you're ready to use your feline skills and canine prowess to pay off that debt and solve a murder along the way. These are no small tasks. But luckily, each of your forms has special skills that'll help along the way. And there's no way I can resist a game in which the main form of transportation is riding sheep. Enjoy the bizarre charm of Rainy Woods when The Good Life launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Hi, I'm Sean Murray. And I'm Stephen Burgess. And we're here at Hello Games in the UK. We'd like to show you a little of a game we're working on called The Last Campfire. I'm the designer on The Last Campfire. It's a game about Ember, who's become lost and is searching for a way home. The game means a great deal to me and the team, and we were trying to make something about compassion, empathy, and finding hope. We really hope you like it. Hello Games, known for the vast galactic exploration of No Man's Sky, delivers an altogether more intimate adventure with this new game. Experience a truly moving tale about rekindling hope when The Last Campfire launches for Nintendo Switch this summer. If you're a fan of games with immersive techno beats and sleek stylistic visuals, multimedia artist Bayan and Kyoto-based Q Games have got you covered. In Pixel Junk Eden 2, stages generate in real time based on your actions as you guide an inquisitive little creature called a Grimp on a journey to save its fellow Grimps and restore their gardens. Each choice you make, from which Grimp you control to how you enhance and maneuver them, gives rise to a distinct sensory experience. Enjoy this wonderland alone or with a friend via local multiplayer when Pixel Junk Eden 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. Every good strategy game has its share of risks and rewards. So enter the world of Feria at your own risk. Because the reward is that Belgian developer Abercam's card game truly comes to life. And really puts your strategic skills to the test as you craft not only your decks, but also the terrain of the battlefield itself. There are lots of ways to unlock cards in this game. Progress through the sizable solo campaign, for example, or play drafts mode or even PvP battles. Plus, there are online co-op missions and some puzzles on the side, too. The Nintendo Switch version of Feria comes with four free cosmetic packs available to download for free for a limited time when the game launches later this spring. And after that, they'll be available as in-game purchases. It's grim. It's dark. It's tough to master. But hey, that's all part of the fun. Indeed. Slaying gods is no simple task, but hey, the bragging rights? Legendary. In this brutal boss rush battler, timing and precision are paramount. And you guys are going to want to pay attention to your loadout here too, because combat customization and unlockable talents and abilities, they're all key to your survival. 
be among the first to take up the challenge when Eldest Souls launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this summer. All right, everybody, so we're almost out of time today, but before we go, we'd like to share a quick peek at a few more indie games that are being worked on by some amazing developers around the world. Yeah, I think it still works. It was a pleasure. And it still is, because we have one more thing to share. Fire it up. The past has been erased. A paradox created. Yet the dungeon remains. Whether you dared to enter the dungeon or not, be prepared to exit. This game picks up right where the last one left off, and developer Dodge Roll has somehow managed to make the arsenal-packed extravaganza we know as the dungeon even more intense, packing it with hundreds of weapons and items, shifting rooms, and plenty of battle-hardened gun dead. Exit the dungeon launches on Nintendo Switch as a time console exclusive later today. Well, everyone, it was a pleasure, really. And it's over, for real this time. But on behalf of Nintendo, we just want to take a minute to say thank you to our Indie World community and all the developers out there that are just as passionate about indie games as all you fans that play them on Nintendo Switch. And thanks to all of you for tuning in. Until next time, happy gaming.